How you doing YouTube? Matt, Master Beer Reviews. Back to yet another review. A little outdoor jams. Today's MBR. It's getting cold out. It's like 60 degrees, if that. It's probably closer to 55. I forgot a jacket, but I'm suffering through it for you guys. Do a review of Urban South Brewing's Citrulis, Citrulicious. I got it close enough. Uh, wet Hot IPA. Um, never had this before. Had a great, or er, er, I was going to say great raft, Urban South before uh, via the beer mail. And that beer mail was from Corey. And this one is from Corey. So thank you very much, brother. He sent off a bunch of uh, New Orleans, Louisiana goodness. Hopefully this is the good stuff. Uh, Urban South Brewing, uh, Citrulicious. Uh, did better that time. Uh, wet Hop IPA, Hop Series, Whole Cone, Citra Juice, son. Um, done and done. New Orleans. It's all right. That's a bunch of hops. It's a bunch of green. What are you going to do? I'm going to review it. That's what we're going to do. Uh, okay. I didn't read an ABV on there. Is, the na is there an ABV on here? I don't see one. It was uh, canned about two and a half weeks ago. I do not see an ABV. I'm guessing it's the smaller ABV, how it poured, but I could be wrong. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Yep. God damn it, no ABVs. What do you have there? You got a rich, um, kind of like more like grapefruit juice than like orange juice, kind of slightly opaque, uh, uh, or slightly kind of cataracty. Uh, the whole thing throughout. Pinky finger, half pinky finger of, and it's a fluffy but not hard kind of head on it. And yeah, she looks like a hazy, let's put it that way. Let's see if you get a nose on her. Yeah, there's a nice green component there. There's a big, nice, rich greenness to it. Uh, definitely coming off tomato stock, a little bit weedy. Um, there's a nice, sweet citrus to it, but it's nothing too big. That green definitely leads the portion of the show. And it has that kind of, you know, real kind of uh, wet hop, whole cone vibe to it. When I say that, this is what I typically get when I'm talking about that. Um, whole cone usually comes off a little bit oily to me. Even then, it smell it. It smells like it has this kind of rawness to it and it, it usually comes off that way a little bit in the taste too and the way the green comes off it comes off like you know if you use like fresh basil or fresh herbs and something as opposed to dry stuff there's that kind of trade-off it's it, it's a very subtle difference sometimes it can make all the difference you know what i mean so it's it's one of those things where it comes off fresh it comes off green it comes off uh probably a bit more dank than citrus but that citrus is in there and it's got a nice sweetness to it nothing over the top it smells like it's you know Six and change. Maybe even a little bit less. Let's dive in. Cheers. Oh, I'll drink it all day. This has got to be actually, I, I, I'm hoping this is sub 5% or sub four, 6. If it's sub 5, I'm even more happy. I mean, it's got this nice rich greenness. It's got this pithy, grindy citrus component with a little bit of juice behind it. Um, it's, it, it mouth feels not full and super creamy, but it's nice. This is a beer. I want a six of this at a tailgate. I want a six of this while I'm golfing. I want a six of this while I'm sitting here looking at that fucking view behind me. I want this to be a chugger. I am really upset that there's no ABV on here. I might look it up while I'm talking. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's delicious. It's tasty. I dig it. Let's look it up. Uh, hop series. I know this is really kind of fantastically um, impressive stuff when I actually use a phone while I'm doing all this stuff, but yeah, I gotta look it up. Uh, it's a tasty beer. I mean, like I said, I've had Urban South stuff before, um, but uh, I've never had, I forget what I had from last time. Citra Lish. Yes, I butchered that, but I've had it before and it's pretty damn tasty stuff the stuff that i have had i remember it being um you know what i mean a brewery that i dug from the stuff that i got last time when i got beer meals but uh it's probably one of the more impressive come on baby come on ah 6.3 percent god damn it it's a tasty beer i dig it i like it 6.3 percent i'll crush it you know i'll go into a brewery and have a couple but man i really wanted this beer to be like 4.8 percent if it was 4.8 percent i would have been like flipping out so hence the reason why I looked it up, because that was really, for me, the kind of trigger point for it. You know what I mean? 6.3%, it's tasty, it's nice, I like it, it's crisp, it's clean. 
even though it's a hazy and it delivers what it wants to deliver in a really tight and tidy package. But at 6.3%, I want a little bit more muscle because I'm trading off those ABVs for, for impact. Um, but it's really tasty, well-made. I like the way it shows. And, you know, anytime anybody's going to go through the trouble of doing wet hop beer, hats off to you. I know how much of a hassle that is. So, fuck yeah. Good on you, Urban South, for doing such things. Is it one of the better wet hop IPAs I've had as late? It's number one because I can't remember last time I had one. Um, but it, 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 in the general, sick, you know, IPAs, hazy IPAs, it, 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 I would put it on the edge. I, I don't want to leave it out because I do enjoy it for its technical awesomeness. Um, it's just lacking a little bit of bits and pieces that I want at 6.3%. Value and availability, no idea. Corey, let us know what's what, and leave you with, if you like what, will you like this? If you like Citra, if you like what hot IPAs, if you like hazies, and you want to drink a bunch of beers, but get drunk, as opposed to 4.3% beers, where you can drink a bunch and not get as drunk. No, it's tasty, it's good, it's delicious, if you like, you know, Citra-based beers, and you like the whole kind of, whole cone wet hop thing, it's going to do you super proper. So there you go, another outdoor review hopefully you guys enjoyed it down there if you want to talk about it massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff beer massive i do a podcast i talk to all kinds of people check that shit out hopefully you guys enjoyed the review hopefully enjoy a nice louisiana beer right now and hope to see you next time cheers